How's it going everyone? JakeXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. Today we're taking a look at one of the new cars which have just been added to Forza Horizon 4, which may be one of, if not the fastest car in the game. We're forever getting these fast cars added to Forza, so let's play with them. One thing I want to quickly say, by the time this video is out, we will probably be on the edge of hitting 100,000 subscribers. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing and helping me reach my lifetime goal. And when we do, we're going to do the 2000 mile world record race. And along with that, I want to do an experiment. If you are already subscribed to the channel, go to the comment section and comment something. Let me know your favourite type of cheese or what colour your chair is. Just anything. I want to do an experiment. So the car in question is a 1963 Shelby Monaco King Cobra. This was part of the Barrett Johnson uh, Jackson car pack, I think. I've completely forgot the name of it. But this car can be upgraded to have 2,200 horsepower per tonne because it only weighs about 600 kilograms but will have 1,500 horsepower. Absolutely mind-blowing. And we're going to have a play with this and see if we can make it the fastest car in the game. So the 6.5 litre V12 is what we need. We're going to keep it rear wheel drive for the least amount of weight possible. Twin turbos into it and oh my god it's already getting fast. Just because I want to see how light we can make this thing. And then we'll go and ooh, we don't want, no, we're not going to use any weight there. And there it is. There is the finished car. Now let me get my brake horsepower per tonne calculator out. 1,515 horsepower, 656 kilograms, 2,309 brake horsepower per tonne. That is nearly double the Koenigseggs. Unbelievable. Oh my god, I probably should have made it all-wheel drive. Oh my god. Yep, yep, yep. I need to make it all-wheel drive. We've unfortunately gained a bit of weight doing that, but... Oh, that is already better. Let's put this down. Now, those are some stats that I never thought I'd see. 0 0.8 seconds to 60 and 1.9 to 100. How about that? Before we time the 0-60, 0-100, 0-150, 0-200, to we need to try it out in a drag race. Now, I've not got the best drag tune on, but we'll, we'll see. I mean, we can already tell this is going to have a very close relationship with the McLaren F1 GT. It's definitely right up there. Right, here we go. I'm going to stay on manual with the clutch because I only have to do one or two gear changes. Here we are. Two hundred and twenty miles an hour. Wow. I redlined in first by accident. Seven point one seconds there. Here we go. Right, I've changed the gears up a bit. Can I get into the six seconds? Oh, that was a poor start. Oh no. Looks like I'm gonna need third gear. Wanna try again here. Ooh, that's promising. That's promising. My gear changes weren't correct there. I know you're going to comment that they were way off, but whoa! 6.7. <laughs> wow. 6.7 seconds drag. That is unbelievable. Do you know, that is in the Alpha 33 Stradale territory from back in the day. Impressive. I like this thing. I think it's only... I think it's only obvious now to go to the motorway. Oh my god, look how fast. Oh my god. I'm going to time the 0 to 60, 0 to 100, 0 to 150, and 0 to 200 times. Okay, here we go. We'll get a bit of launch control going. Wow, it just stops dead at 280. I wonder why they've done that. They've put a restrictor on it of some sort. But that was... That got to 200 miles an hour so quickly. Let me just time it in my head. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4... Wow. <laughs> 0 to 200 miles an hour in about 4 to 5 seconds. Maybe 6. 
I mean, I was about to do a top speed test, but it's pretty obvious that it just... <laughs> pretty obvious that it stops dead at about, well, 274, I think it was. Yeah, about 273, it just stops dead. That's a bit annoying. This could easily pull 300 miles an hour if, if that wasn't the case. I still can't believe I managed to get 6.7 seconds on the drag. I didn't think I was that good. Now because of this, I can unfortunately see a lot of people starting to complain about this being like pay to win. But I would suggest getting this car pack. <laughs> it's definitely worth it. Here we go, let me try and manual, see if I can do any better. No, that was way worse. That'll be like 6.9 maybe? 7.0? Oh, 7.1. Yeah, that was... Okay, that was a that was a better one. I left first gear for a little bit longer then. I didn't realise first gear was so long. There was a 6.9. That's not too bad. Try it again. My launch was a lot better then. Hmm. My launch was better. That could be good. 6.8. It's getting there. Let's restart. Here we go. I'll see if I can get my gear changes better now. Yeah, I don't get enough speed when I shift like that. I kind of have to redline. For some reason in Forza, I've noticed when you shift badly, you get better times. That was a 6.8. Let me shift really badly and see if I can beat that. Let's try it. Let's see what that was like. 6.8, any... 6.8 so shifting badly and shifting good absolutely no difference try it again what's that one got 6.8 again I don't know how I managed the 6.7 but wow that is a good good drag car if, if I can get 6.8 easily without having to worry about shifting properly. It accelerates like nothing else. I mean, usually in the car, you set off in first gear, you, you change into second gear, you get to the top of second gear. When you're at the top of second gear, you might only be at 50, 60 miles an hour in a supercar, but this thing, does 200 miles an hour in second gear. And then it doesn't take on to get back up to 270. Wow. Well, guys, I'll say it again. If you don't have this car pack already, I would suggest getting it. I've got another video coming um, at some point on one of the other cars in this car pack, which is also insane. Well, here's a look at the cars if you are interested. Um, but this one is by far the best this weighs three times as much as that wow but yeah i'm gonna end there i just wanted to showcase the new fastest car quite a shortish video today but i wanted to smash through it show you the 0-60 time to 0-100 times 0-150 times 0-200 miles an hour times and take it on the drag strip and see what kind of times i can get i managed a 6.7 see what you can all manage um i bet you can manage 6.5s of 6.6s in this thing easily Anyway guys, leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content, and I'll see you all later.